to run an obelisk as well to see how he runs with this essence of Quillian. I feel like he has so much spike synergy it could uh, could get a little out of control. All right. Plus, maybe I'll get some of these other smite belts and stuff. I have the quests up here to try to remind me. Uh, let's see what new thing we got. Start each dive without glyphs. Wow, that's so messed up. <laughs> I get no glyphs. I get this stupid wheel as my vestige. Man, it's just every tier. They're just adding more crap. I'm assuming it only goes up to 20, though. Like, maybe you can get higher ranks, but all the mutators stop after at 20 which be okay uh apply spike to dodge i really don't want to fight runestone again we fought him so many times i you guys have only seen one but i've fought him like three or four times uh argoloth it's usually a little easier on obelisk just because his spikes will hit you fully augmenting three binding is tougher though because you can't always buy the you don't get as many quillings because you get glyphs for some of the modifiers We'll go ahead and do him though. 25,000 damage is easy, but we're going to do our Ar Argoloth. I should still be able to augment three bindings even if I don't get them. What do you guys want? It's not voiced. I don't, I don't feel like reading it right now. <laughs> I'd have to edit that out. That's too much, too much work. All right. Well, this is spiked, but it's not much. Two additional spike damage is not much. Like, even a gray gives me more than that. The daze is fine, but it's always on the nearest enemy, so it just doesn't hit good enough. This is a tester, though. KG's cage. I think the metronome's just better overall, though. A free smite every turn, and then 10% damage on everything. One ability power. 10 shield on my first turn isn't that big a deal, so yeah. Silence metronome's fine. I love that they moved the increased range from a green to a gray. This is so great. For Iron Clap, they also increased this crutch damage, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, we're definitely taking the increased range. It's, it's a great gray. Healing pools only restore 3 HP. Reduce incoming healing. This one might be fine. Funny enough, I took this one time when I had the heal. And it, even then, it didn't seem that bad. Uh, I, I think this does affect the little pools and stuff I take, though, too. Final chapters. I, I want the money. So we're going to take this and see if it uh, does affect our fonts and other healing that we get, not just the actual heal. It's It's got to affect it, right? Otherwise, it would just be too easy. So it's got to remove, like, 40% from everything. All right, I'm still going to go Quilling Cage. I already have a Vestige slot being taken up. It's not bad to get early Vestiges if you're struggling, but Quillings are typically the better choice. If you are struggling though, it's not bad to get early combat power and just replace it as you go on. All right, well, those little guys are gonna be... I did get two crits. Let's see. I'm gonna take the one damage from hitting him. I don't really have to move yet. Let's just do this. Hit four. And then hit three. Move here next to my globe. See what spawns. I'm having the hybrid thing is gonna be a little tough. Smited the little guy with the shield. Um, just trying to see here. I think I probably just want to crush everything since I have the increased range. So like this. This also gives me shield and spike damage. And then maybe we dash through here. 
Honestly, I may just want to keep smashing because it's going to do the same thing. It's going to kill him in two attacks. Yeah, just get more shields. Because there's no way I was going to kill him anyway. I guess it's fine to just grab this as well. Get another shield. Because there's nothing else spawning. I think it was better to just iron clap instead of charge. Just to get the shield to not take that one damage also. It's kind of weird. Obelisk feels better to just clap now with the increased range instead of using, you know, his charge. Unless it's going to finish something off. Yeah, so it is only healing me for three instead of five. But it's fine. I'll take the physical power. Extra damage is great early on. Do I want to take that? Probably not. going to need other... Augments on my uh, clap. The extra crush stack is fine. I'm not going to use my shield bash that much until I get better augments or ascension on it because it just doesn't feel as good as clap having that big of a area. Shield always feels good on obelisk, but I really like the smoke bomb. The days and it's a really big area. And the extra damage is okay as well. Cleave is okay. It's between Shield Wall and Smoke Bomb, and I think they're both good, just for different reasons. I will take the Smoke Bomb first, though. There's a lot of way for a lot of ways to get days, though. Uh, we'll just take the Shield. Just talk myself back and forth. I always take the hard fights. It's probably not the smartest way. You should really gauge your power and. In some cases, go after the Quillings if you don't have the 250 instead of going to the hard fights. But I like the increased, you know, you get a green augment instead of a gray. This feels much stronger to me. Um, I don't need to use my slam, so I'm not going to. I can just hit all of them. my crush I don't really want to I guess I can charge him in this case so this is 90 damage this is 36 twice but it has a chance to crit yeah I don't I, like I just don't see any reason to use bash unless I'm like killing something I could stand here take one damage he's healing I don't want to take the ink drain actually He'll heal off the ink drain. It does mean I need to kill him if I can, because he's going to direct attack me, but I may not be able to. So if I don't have a crit on my shield bash, it just doesn't feel worth it. So yeah, there's no way I'm going to kill him, which means I'm going to get ink drained. I do have a crit on it, but... Even with the crit, it's not enough. That sucks. I was just a little short. I should be able to kill him, hopefully, this turn, though. Uh. Yeah, I can kill him. Need to be careful with my movement so I don't get stuck in his AoE. Trying to look at my circle. Okay, but I should be fine here. Yeah, I'm fine here. Could charge him, but I won't have enough movement to get out. It's kind of what I'm looking at doing. I'm going to be just a tiny bit short again. So I got two ink drains. But 
These guys are pretty tough for Obelisk early on. He just doesn't... I didn't take any extra damage. I just took extra crush stack and then extra range, so... It happens. Well, this is nice. In your first turn, if you're above half health, gain three physical power. Collecting an orb and reducing a cooldown is nice too, but you have a lot of energy issues early on with Obelisk until he gets some ascensions and augments. I don't do any magic damage yet. And I don't really... You can go his Frostbite build, especially now with the Trinket, to increase your Frostbite chances. So I'll have to do that at some point. Uh, do I want to heal for three? My max health is 48 now, so I'm only six health down. I can take either one of these. It is only two spike damage from a gray, though. Since I don't know if I'm going pure spikes yet, I should be going spikes. Oh, here's spikes. Shield and cooldown. I want to take this because I don't have the... Like, I haven't taken it yet, but these are both really good. How many? I need 50 spikes to permanently get one extra shield. So I'm going to take the spiked first. I think the shielding seismic slam is really good, but I'm trying to finish my spike quest as fast as possible. I can't actually afford the binding this time, which is nice. All right. I do like restoring health. Uh, there are a lot more ways that you get damage now. A lot more sources for direct damage. Uh, I, I don't really... I'm not using my charge very much yet. Shatter is okay, but it's very expensive. I'm just going to take the base cooldown. I haven't taken it on my shield yet, so... I think the... Either one of the other ones is probably better than the cooldown, but it's okay. I think I'm going to go for glyphs here since it robbed me of all my glyphs. Instead of going for the vault. Fishy. Probably going to eat this fish before this fight. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and eat it. I think I'm ignoring the pot completely. I need to hit this guy in the back without hitting the others. This is one of those annoying... Mechanics, they start their uh, cast initially. I guess, okay, I'm going to use my shield. It'll heal me. Oh, it only heals me for one instead of two because of my uh, thinging wounds. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this as well because it's got a crit on it. It's going to cause me to take some damage. I did that so I could grab my globe and get both of those cooldowns. Can I? Okay, I can. Uh, I can only hit one. And then I will be locked out of movement. Do I want to do this and take one damage? I think that's fine. At least I'm hitting all of them. I can't get out of his attack. This is the weird thing about what they did. Now, this gives movement, so I can always use this and move out. You can't move and attack very much, but watch. I may be able to get out of this attack. Like, I can't right now, right? No matter where I'm at, I'm getting hit. But if I do this, and then I can take a tiny, tiny step back still. So you can see I moved back like just a little tiny amount. I'm still not out of the AoE, but I got a lot closer. I was able to do that before and move out of an ability. I could do this and get my movement back and take no damage. And I think I'm going to. It also brings both of these off cooldown. So it's not a big deal. That pot got a lot better because of adding movement to it. Made that pot a lot better because of the changes they've made. Trying to think if this is worth it or not. 117 to all. I can hit everybody but one. So, yeah, it does kill the guy in the back. So it's worth it. I am going to take one damage from 
this uh, bot, basically. His uh, shield will do damage to me. Can I hit everyone? I can. Not bad. I wasn't even really trying to hit him until the end, so... He would have given me like one more glyph if I would have killed him. And then, of course, more willings, but... I don't think I can kill him, but... I messed up there. Forgot that those guys spawned. But they don't attack when they spawn like that, so no big deal. You can grab this next turn and should be able to clear the board without any trouble. Oh, he's getting a uh, 100%, but even that shouldn't matter. I guess I could still kill him, but I had to grab the other globe as well. Do we still take physical power? I guess so. Three health feels very bad, but I'm going to have to start taking it at some point because the other things are only going to heal me for five, right? So maybe I take it now. My max health is all the way down to 46, though. So no, we're only five health down. Take the physical power. <laughs> More spiked? <laughs> Probably not. I want to save that for higher tiers. I can just do the additional shield here, just because I've never taken it. And I don't really care about the this being full. Plus, I fully augmented one binding. But it leaves, you know, better ones for better bindings. Right, I guess I get to take Smoke Bomb too. Means I don't have to get any dazed on any of my abilities. Which is fine. It's physical damage, which I have a bunch of already. I really like this smoke bomb. It's got some pretty good ascensions as well. All right, uh, I will go to Sea Breach. I like to go to him in the first book. Sometimes in other books, but definitely the first book. Yep, and we'll do the rarity of future rewards again. I like uh, buffing it. it. Means you snowball harder, typically. All right, it says restore 10, but it's, I don't think it will. I think it'll only be five. Extra will every turn. Extra physical power when stuff's on cooldown. Both of these are not bad. I think I will take the physical power one just because it's cheap and I want a little extra power for this boss. This one's okay too. Like I start with one shield, but I don't want to spend 150 on it. It would have to be something amazing. Alright. Boss time it is. Okay. Uh, he's AoEing this turn, so I do want to AoE him with my bomb. Because I can't avoid it. We're going to do this and kill them. And now, are we going to shield? Or just smack him some more? This will give me two more and some spikes. I guess we can do the shield and then grab this. Or we could save that, honestly, and just do this. Take no damage. Save it for next turn. Seems pretty good. I do want to kill these, but they're going to lose a bunch of health spawning little guys anyway. And I still have my seismic slam. 161 spike damage. Not horrible. But yeah, I figured they were going to be more spread out, so saving my seismic for this turn was going to be better. 
And it is. It'll clear everything except for the boss. Did... Did I take damage? It sounded like I took damage from something there. But I guess that's just those things blowing up. Alright. We'll go ahead and grab both of our orbs, probably. Or... So this is where charge is nice, because I can charge and then move out of his attack. I guess we will grab both orbs because... I just, for the cooldown reduction, I don't want to run all the way back over there. Alright, so it's just one. He's direct attacking me. I can't stop it, so we'll... Daze him again. Kill that guy at the same time. Uh, I guess we'll shield up here. Save the orb for next turn. Because I can't phase him yet. I can phase him next turn though. I want to save my seismic slam. It's nice I got a crit on it as well. I definitely want to save my seismic slam for... I have to grab this anyway, so let's just grab it. It's good to just spam our Iron Clap, try to get a crit, and build up some spikes. You only lose half of your spikes each turn, so... It's good to just use it up if you don't have anything to go with it. Alright, so we've got a crit on Seismic, which is really nice. We've got a, two globes. We've still got a pot as well. Should clear everything except for the big mess over there, and it does. I will go ahead and use my shield wall and grab this because he's AOEing. I can't stop it. I don't think I can kill him. I can daze him though. Do I charge here? I don't think there's a reason to. Just build up some more spikes. We can use this if we need to, but I don't really see us needing to this fight. Uh, there should be... This is very close to being able to hit all of them. Even if I can't, they'll die fast enough. To where I can hit all of them. Hmm. I'm not gonna have the movement to get out. I can charge out. If I grab this. I think it's better to just shield up and take the damage and let him take the spike damage yeah see he's gonna take half of his health left in spike damage here so i'll take five damage for it i'm technically at full health right now well i'm one one health away from full since i have four ink drains Should have looked at the globe. If it gave me this back, I should have done it to heal for one. All right, sorry. I clear my throat. The I don't want this as my first vestige, but or my first ascension. But I don't want to reroll either because I only have three. But I will. I need more damage. I just need more damage. Well, I don't want the Frostbite, so I guess we're going Earthquake. <clears throat> yep. I've been building all physical, no magic, so... Uh, the extra will cost reduction is actually nice, since I got this as Earthquake. I want cooldown reduction now, and will cost reduction. Both of those are good. The extra crush stack is okay, but I'll take the will cost since that's what why did I send it? All right, so this says 10, but I think it's going to heal me for five. My max health is 46. Oh, okay. It does still heal for 10. So this uh, stinging wounds. Well, maybe it doesn't heal for 10. 40% would be six. Exactly. <laughs> So now I don't even know if it heals for 10 or not. 
Definitely taking the physical damage still. I have no spike damage yet. I have already finished my little trinket here. So I get extra shield. One shield at the start of every turn. That one's not as good as the frostbite one. I guess it's good in co-op since it's all allies get one shield. But yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm still taking physical power over spike damage. Especially with Earthquake now. Alright, Tourist Trap. When entering the Carver's Refuge, gain a debuff that reduces cooling's earned by 25%. Well, that's really easy. Because by the time I visit Carver now, you know, it'll be right before the boss anyway. Definitely don't want Wit Thief. Don't want Pacifism either, even though I want to go to the Starship. But we're going Radiant Mark, and this is probably two of the easier modifiers. Tourist Trap seems bad if you take it early because you kind of get forced into the Carver and then you lose 25% of your Quillings, but like I won't get forced into the Carver until almost the end of the game now, so. Alright, I think I am going to do one more Glyph since I don't have any rerolls. I like going and getting Heroic Vestiges, but I'll still get enough to fill out all of my vestiges, whereas I might need a reroll. Platinum cannon's pretty nasty on this guy. He has so much health. Uh, I'm definitely going to save my smoke bomb for when I can't avoid his damage, but I need to use my earthquake on cooldown now. And it only costs one, which is nice. I will just grab this orb. I don't want to come back here. I don't care. I don't have anything on my shield bash. I'm just going to use it for movement right now. I may not even need to. It looks like I can get out even if I use it or not. I wonder if I want to just shield up and take this damage. Probably not. All right, we could use our globe here. It's doing 15 direct. It's a lot of direct damage. He's got the physical shield up. Let's just start with the daze. And then just start smacking. Probably do want to cast our shield this turn. get a crit on this so yeah this should drop down most of the damage yeah i'm only taking one it's really good and i'll have my earthquake up again so yeah pretty much kills everything all right pretty good on glyphs I could take spike damage. I still like physical power. Usually I like ability power a little more, but I have no magic at all damage right now. It's all physical, so 20% is better than 10%. Unless I eventually get a vestige that, you know, does some magic damage. A smite or something, but... Just keep focusing on physical power for now. 35 crush damage. I really like this. <clears throat> I didn't really want it as my last upgrade, though. I have no damage resist right now. This is worthless, and I have no frostbite. I may reroll this. 35 crush damage isn't bad, but I don't want that to be my last one. I, I have plenty I can put in smoke bomb and anything except for damage resist that I have none of right now. So let's reroll. We have five, so this puts us at even number. Oh, we got a... Purple. Like one stack of shocked. Once per turn though. Shatter is okay, but it's on a long cooldown. I usually use this for the dazed more than the shatter. I'll just take the purple. One shocked isn't bad. It's just free damage. 
That is magic damage now, though, so the ability power was better. But it's okay. Uh... All of these are fine. I wonder if I need to go to the study. Let's just go here, because I don't know if I have a quest here or not. I don't know if that was a quest or he just wanted to talk to me. Uh, these are two stats I really like. Uh, physical power and shielding. That scythe is very nice. I can get back the HP I've lost. I'll get a ton of HP from this. I think we take this just because there are so many uh, vestiges that have max health synergy. So we just take this and see if we get one. Marbled Cuffs is just fine too, though. Extra shield and physical power is nice. It's just got no added bonus, right? But this is similar. It's 20% damage without the shielding, but you gain a ton of max health. Well, let's do it. And I will go Vault this time. Let's see if we get some synergies running on our vestiges. All right. What do we have? They both have their physical shell up. But all of these little guys do... Yeah, maybe it's fine, actually. I'm not going to be able to kill them because of that, so maybe I save my smoke bomb and earthquake for next turn. It's kind of awkward. I may still use my smoke bomb. just to daze them. In fact, let's just do that now. Because there's no way I can stop that, so let's just drop the damage, right? Four instead of six. So I'm taking five right here. So let's just shield. Take one and then set up for next turn to kill everything that spawns, basically. Little guys will pop out of here, but that's not a big deal. I pretty much killed everything. We'll grab this. Go ahead and kill him. Why didn't the little things spawn? Like, did I just do too much damage that they just blew up? The little guys were supposed to spawn out of those long linky guys oh he's got the physical shell I was wondering why I wasn't going to kill him but it's fine take one damage we can get our earthquake up again I think we do just to see what's kind of left over yeah these guys were supposed to spawn these uh Slime peas last time I killed them and they didn't. Yeah, they're not spawning them. Oh, each turn. Okay, that's why. It's because they died before they had a chance to create them. I gotcha. I thought they were the. Thought this was the one where they spawn when they die. All right. Uh, I am gonna use my shield just to heal for one because I may not be able to use it next turn one heal but I should be able to easily clear anything that spawns oh well, maybe not though he's got the physical shell up so I'm not gonna be able to kill him so I need to kind of daze again all right I'm taking zero damage though so actually get the heal again Heal for one. Yeah, our max health is already 27 higher. <laughs> but again, we may get rid of this if we don't get the synergy or get a ton more health built up. Uh, I don't have any burn synergy. And it's kind of late to try to build it. Plus, Obelisk doesn't really get a lot. This is okay. Shield, but you only get one extra will with it. I really like the stone pitch pipe. You get a one cost discount and you get a cooldown reduction. This is like a orb 
every turn. But you don't get... You get it on a one cost discount instead of actually getting the one extra willpower. But it's the same thing as grabbing an orb. You get a cooldown on one. You know, instead of doing it on all of your abilities. But it's typically one I will get rid of if I get extra willpower and stuff. Just keep going physical. I should really pick up one spiked. I'll pick up one spiked. I'll pick up more if they're better, like a blue spiked over a green physical, but it just doesn't scale as much unless I get the, you know, the spike legendary. I don't need shatter. I'm not really charging. I shatter on the smoke bomb is a little better because I'm using that more often. Here's the cooldown reduction I was talking about on Earthquake, though, which I want. And there's their third augment. Oh, these are all great. Window is the best. I really, really like gloves too, but like right now, I wonder if this is only going to heal me for one because of this uh, stinging wounds, probably. But even still, like, it's going to proc every single turn because I'm never going to be full health with a death scythe. So yeah, window is going to be OP. I really, really like the gloves. I like both of these. This used to be a purple, this refractory, but they realized, wow, that's really strong. So they made a legendary. <laughs> Cause yeah, I grabbed it every time it was a purple. I saw it. I was like, oh yeah, never even a thought about it. But yeah, window is just one of the best, if not the best physical uh, vestige you can get, especially the earlier you get it because every round it that you heal, you're going to get more physical power. It's just going to stack up and stack up. <clears throat> oh yeah, I haven't tried that uh, trinket yet. I've been stuck on these ones that, you know, are specific to the classes almost. Like spiked for obelisk and poison for moss cloak and fire burn for magma. I've won one run on everybody and then I've won multiple runs on the captain and I've done it always with the frostbite trinket. It's so strong on him. I need to start trying some of the other ones. I wanted to get to solo tier 20 and see if it keeps going after that. And then I'm just going to, after I pass 20 and kind of unlock all that stuff, I'm just going to play around and test all the new stuff. All right. I'm not even using my dash very much, so I, I may reroll this. I'm looking for an iron clap or a smoke bomb. This dash is actually okay because it makes it a one. So if I was going to take any shield talent right now or dash talent, it would be this. So maybe I just do take this, honestly. It just gives me more options, right? Okay, if I'm only worried about winning, I take Battering Ram, but I want Smoke Bomb or Iron Clap. And I wanted Smoke Bomb because I haven't taken all these, so I want to see them. So this dazes in a large area, inflict marked, grant one stack of precise. That's pretty interesting. Okay, I'm happy with that. still in like the try it out phase where I want to kind of try everything. Uh, I will buy the binding empowerment here. I want some smoke bomb ones and I guess we can start getting some charge ones in case we get that ascended. Targets all enemies. Sounds great. It's a purple over a blue. Uh, I don't have this yet. Base cooldown. Seems good too. We got a lot of cooldown reduction on our abilities. Yep, definitely going vault again. Just go ahead and eat this crab. So we've got our stone pitch pipe on our shield wall, so we'll go ahead and use that. I want to use it on cooldown two to heal. I think it'll proc my window. Yep. So having the heal on my shield is going to proc my window even faster. I 
I have enraged them. I did not pay attention, but they're jumping, so I can avoid their damage this turn anyway. So we're just gonna smack them till they're dead anyway. It's actually nice. The shock is kind of just free damage. I mean, if I was smart about it, I would hit once with Iron Clap and then do my Earthquake, though. So I need to pay better attention to that. Just so the shock gets more value. So I can grab this and then do what I was talking about, where I hit them once with Iron Clap and then... So all the shocks will proc off of the Earthquake damage here. Just do a ton of damage. Uh, he's direct attacking me, so we're gonna go ahead and hit and miss as well. Because I don't think I can kill him. Almost. Pretty close. I'm only taking one damage. This guy gets away with nine health. Sad day. And he died. 777 spike damage. Alright, we'll grab our orb. Do the combo we were talking about. We're gonna heal as well. Keep rocking our window. Yeah, we've got it up to seven in one fight. We could actually sit here and proc this over and over while these guys jump around until the the uh, ink comes in, but I don't think we need to. Can't do this, though. Yeah, we'll do it like this. So we can grab that globe and heal again. That kills everything, so... Oops! That's okay. Doesn't really matter the order. We've got this to 10 already. But yeah, you can sit there and proc it and, you know, slow play it if you feel like, but... I think we're strong enough at this point. Oh yeah, I've had a couple cracked runs with the uh, captain. He's really fun with his frostbite builds. He feels like... I, I don't know if he's second, third, or... Second or third strongest now? I still feel like Magma Miner is the strongest. And Moss Cloak and Captain I feel like are interchangeable. And Obelisk is third, fourth, depending on where you put them. I feel like Captain is very strong. They may tune him down some. I'm not sure. And the funny thing is, it seems like his kit is built even better for co-op. So as strong as he feels in solo and co-op, he feels like he would be even stronger. I don't have Frostbite. Extra crit is good. I don't I also don't have, you know, poison. So this is better than, you know, my smiting once per turn. I only had had two ability power anyway. Flicked hex. There's no point. I don't have any magic damage. I could just take this just cuz I don't care what's on my charge anymore. I'm barely using it. It's more of a movement than a damage than at this point. Fishy. I really wish they would buff this fish. Since it's on getting hit, it should really be like 100%. You have to get hit to proc it. Wow. Yeah, I really love, like, 
the first couple runs I had with Captain, I didn't use his drones very well. But after I started using it on the big AoE abilities, it got so strong. I, I just love it, how his whole class plays. 6k damage drone is just ridiculous though. I, uh, I also wasn't paying attention. His, uh, you know, like a shield ability will give him a drone as well. So any, just any of the buff abilities. You could get three abilities that give him drones. And then there's that augment on his three ability that gives him a drone for everything he hits. It's so strong. All right, I guess we're eating the fishy because we got a pot. Crit damage. I do have a lot of crit because of this shocking core cap. It's a blue over a green. This is just flat damage, but I'm getting plenty of flat damage from my window. So let's just take the crit damage. Movement per turn. I'm actually really liking too, but blue and above is what I'll take on that. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got two crits. Uh, like I said, I need to smack once. Let's just try to smack as many as we can without moving much, just to get the shocked on them. So we've got our shock. Now we're gonna use our crit. Clear everyone. No problem. Uh. I guess we save our crit here, but we use our shield so we can get the heal buff our uh, window. Yeah, just sit next to our uh, orb. It's actually going to be weird. I think I do want to use this hidden miss just to lower his damage this turn. Put some precise on him. So does that mean I want to charge him? Probably. Just because of the precise. I could also grab both of these and use an earthquake. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. We have the cooldown pot if we want to go that route. Putting the shock on just him doesn't matter. So he's AoEing again, but I think I can just proc him without using my hidden miss, so we'll save it for next turn. And then save our orb for next turn. We should uh, keep smacking, even though this is a crit, just to build up more spike damage, just in case. Like a crit on Iron Clap's not that big a deal. Alright, so we want to Iron Clap first again to get shocked on as many as we can without moving. Looks like we can hit about three or four, maybe. These guys are so huge now. They used to be so tiny. I kind of like that change, though. So yeah, three is good enough. I don't have to move much for it. Plus the boss, technically four. All right, now we'll blow them all up. With our earthquake. Go ahead and heal. Daze him. I think we'll just charge this time because of the precise we put on him. And I want to grab this just for the one extra attack, one extra shield. I guess so. Because he should be dead this turn no matter what. And yeah, he's dead automatically with just the earthquake. And again, I could sit there and keep healing with the window, but there's no point. I'm pretty sure we're past the point of being able to lose. 
We could take Shell just for the extra shield. Plus, if we get something that gives us more spike, it can do a ton of damage. We don't really have a lot of crush synergy. A little bit with our Earthquake, but Earthquake is just gaining more damage basically from its use. So, extra shield's good. Extra spiked is good. Doing damage based off spike is really good. Uh, Yeah, we'll just take the extra damage on Smoke Bomb for now. We're using it more often than our charge. This is cheaper. It's got a lower cooldown too. Alright. Well, we have plenty of extra max HP, so... So, this should only heal us for 6 because of our Stinging Wounds. So, let's see. So, we should go to 67. Yeah. So, Stinging Wounds is kind of bad early. But, you can take it in the second book and it shouldn't be too too big a deal. But Alright, well... Normally, I take Shielding. Maybe I should should still, just because we're getting so much physical power from the window. We don't really need it. Just take the shielding as a safety net. I don't think we need it, but... It's just nice to have. We also have two pots still. Increases attack and shield of all enemies. So they changed him up a little. So it's better to try to clear all this stuff as fast as possible. Go ahead and shield for the... And we'll hit everyone for the shock. And then watch everything explode. Alright, so two guys lived. Yeah. I don't have to kill him this turn. So maybe I just wait next turn. No, we'll use the Hidden Mist because it got the Pitch Pipe on it for free. I don't really have to overthink these fights. Like, we're kind of out of strength where it doesn't matter anymore. Um, I can get my Earthquake up again, so I will. I'm going to hit these four... I guess, since they're closest. I don't really want to move yet. And then we'll Earthquake. Kill everything. Casual 26 and 2400 damage. 1200 damage shocks. <laughs> Just build up our spikes, I guess. Up to 32, but you lose half of that, right? Yeah, went down to 16 and then back up to 18 for some reason. All right. Hit them all for the shock and then blow them all up. I should have picked that up and healed, but again, I don't need to sit here and build up the window. I'm creating three stacks of Shadow Royal. This used to be five and I had two of these and I never ran out of willpower. So I see why they nerfed it. Physical binding extra physical damage is really strong. This would have been... Well, this is a little bit stronger because of that, but damage resist only feels good once you kind of max it out, and I don't really have the slots for a bunch of bindings. Or a bunch of augments now. Um, I can get rid of stone pitch pipe, I can get rid of Valmark, I can get rid of powder. So I think stone is the last one. I get rid of Val first and then Powder second. But do I want the Shattered Will? I think I just take the tiles, honestly. I have so much physical power coming in that the tiles get stronger and stronger every turn. I have one reroll either here, which there's no real point to reroll. It's either one will cost or the damage. I'd rather have the will cost because I'm using it for movement, not really for damage. Which means I have two rerolls here because this is the last place I can use them. These are all green. There's a blue spike damage. We'll take that. Crit chance isn't bad either, but it was a green as well. Just because we have a little bit of crit synergy. Alright, we have one reroll. 
We don't need to buy health. Like, we're way over what you start with. We have one reroll for a legendary. Lepsy Dranium. Yeah, the cooldown reduction is nice, but I have no magic. So, reroll. Days to everyone and a bunch more health. That sucks. I could reroll for purples now. Or I could just take this. I think I'd just rather reroll for purples. I don't need the extra health. Dazing everyone. I, I pretty much have that with Hidden Mist anyway. This actually feels kind of bad for a legendary. Just 10 health and a daze to everything. Like when you have a Hidden Mist that... I guess it's a purple augment to make it target all enemies. But this is doing the same thing as a binding without the damage or anything else, you know. It just kind of feels bad for a legendary to me. All right, let's look for... This isn't a bad purple, but... Oh, dice. I will take this just because it's fun to watch. Get rid of this. Might as well buy the health now. What was the other one in here? Oh, I can't afford it anyway. It rolled purple. All right, let's go... Beat down good old Argoloth. So we rolled magic power. 11. I do want to try to hit as many as I can. Again, without moving much. So three. Just to get the shocked on them all before I earthquake. Should heal first too, just to get the one extra power. Kind of seeing if I could get to where I take zero damage by standing in all of this mess. I do want to stand in everything except for this one, I guess. So I'll do a bunch of spike damage all around. I'm doing the same combo. I hit shell once, basically, put the shock on everyone. I guess it's better to do that for the precise. Yeah, but it's kind of awkward just because you can't get precise and uh, precise and shock on them because it. One ability will knock it off for the other. I think it's fine that way. Do I want to charge just to move? I don't think so. This is fine. Like, he'll die to the spikes when he hits me, right? So. Well, that was a weird little skippage. I didn't uh, drop any frames, though, so. The graphics look a little different to me, too. I don't know if they changed something. Or if that's just me. I will go ahead and charge this time. Just kind of work on two. Our window is up to 30. Spikes are getting close to a thousand damage, and we're not even building that many spikes. Um, so in this case, I will charge just to get into a better spot over here for next turn. Like the charge damage doesn't even matter at this point. The spikes are killing them anyway. Like me getting over there didn't matter either.
Yeah, we're taking zero damage. We're getting, you know, 12 shield and everything's dying to spikes, really. 899 spikes, up to 47, 35 on the window. Yeah, window is just very strong on physical base characters. If I hit these two, like this one's gonna die. So it's better to just kind of go over here. Hit these with the shock. Everything died. Yep, he is dead to spikes. What is our max health? 130 max health. We're at 91. 49 physical power. So, pretty ridiculous. Even with our little worn millstone. Just so much physical power, even the spikes were uh, destroying them. Cannot be dropped. Cannot be dropped. But yeah, really strong obelisk run too. So that's solo 20. Doesn't look like there's any other rewards. I wonder if this keeps climbing though, or if just 20 is it. What did we get here? Oh, we got more shinies. Yeah, I was able to buy this with just the extra shinies I had left over last time. I think I had to get one extra one to buy the next premium. So I really like that they're doing that. All right, so I guess the next one we'll see if we go to 21.